everyone and welcome back to I Am Sense Now. Well, after the blows that we've been dealt in the last episode, let's um, you guys regroup. Go back to the last time we visited. Well, I guess we have to go ahead and do this now. Because we don't have access to Astral Boom at the moment. Oh, there's both the characters that can actually do that. Oh well. It is what it is, isn't it? At least we still have this combo to fall back on. Which still deals decent damage, if I say so myself. Yeah, what did the medicine even do that we gave you, Julian? Because it obviously didn't exactly help her, not, did it? I mean, to be fair, even when we did give it to her, the guy giving it to us was a little bit shady, I want to say. So, uh, you know. Guess we should have seen this one coming. The nice thing about Blobby though is that you don't actually have to aim it, so to speak, because it hits the whole screen anyway. Since it also deals uh, damage to all the enemies and basically kills them, so regaining all of our MP all the time. Is pretty great, not gonna lie. Huge fan. Not a huge fan of that, though. We'll have so many materials to sell once we get back to the shop, though. Imagine how many ethers we would have to go through to do this over and over again. You know what? While we're doing the. Ah, never mind. I was gonna say we can just put gear into the party instead of sets now. We can gain a little bit of XP as well, but. It's best if we have a level with sets now anyway. Even if we don't use momentum, should have killed him, no problem. We oh, yeah, should still do that, though. Materials and such. Combo power and shock. I don't think I want combo power though, do I? Then again, I can just get another combo thing and... Turn 
I do admit the difficulty of this game is a little bit all over the place. It's like, you know, normal enemy encounters, barely put up a fight. And then you get to the bosses, and uh, things can't change there. I just think of that, what was it, tiger? Have you thought a couple of episodes back? Only hell. Uh, yeah, sure. So I think we're actually starting to cap out on some materials. Which is pretty amazing, actually. Alright, made it out again. Where were these shiny pickups again? Sugar cane. This the other. All right, back to gathering. I know to cross the vanished land. What are you asking here for? Oh, I'm a giant. Good luck to you, though. Jenny was just as surprised as the rest of us to see that the land had vanished, wasn't she? Now you won't be able to get to the last lands at all. Don't be stupid. Of course you will. Then's the time to be whining. Hey, come on. You're gonna give up that easy, are you? What about you, Andy? Of course not. I bet you think I'm a planner already, ain't ya? And deep down, the others ain't given up yet either. Right now, we need to focus on continuing our journey. You know that, don't ya? You? You're right. I joined all of you on this journey because I want to change things. Can't give up now, no matter what. Must change things too, for the sake of all future life. Andy and Nidu, here. Please help me. Together, we must find a way. Must find a way to cross the vanished land and reach the last lands. Alright. Guess that is settled then. <laughs> Uh, is there anything new here? I mean, yeah, but nah. Alright, time to sell a bunch of stuff. Look at that money. How much more we could still make if we sell all the other stuff too. Alright, let's have a looky, shall we? Pattern stone. I 
all creation. Heh, <laughs> he's a little bit Jenna. Permanence. I think I want another one of these. Some truth. Yes, please. I only got some of these bits. when using combos. Oh. Where do I get Iron Snow Snap, though? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me check real quick. Because I'm curious about that. Exact kill on the balloon pass. Ugh. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Shame. I really like that. Oh well. I think exact kill is a really problem to get. I don't mind if I get more of these. Because why not? So many ethers now, and I don't even need them anymore. <laughs> My strength's gonna end in failure, trust me. I know these things. If you don't believe me? Let's bet on it. Come on! Strange's gonna do the last lands. What'll it become of the world? Just think about it, sends a chill down my spine. I guess let's talk to the people around you a little bit. Search and space that were blocking everywhere around you seem to have gone. Just like that. I wonder whatever could have made him disappear. The inner Arania was run by my father before me, and his father before him. Now, it's gone. No reason to keep on living. None at all. I don't think I'm better off just throwing myself to the monsters. Oh, okay. It's kind of drastic. You know, across the vanished land? Are you asking me for a moment? I could like on the other. Don't worry about that.
If you make it to the last land, it's not going to change anything. Pointless. It's all pointless. Thanks for the vote of confidence. By the way, I heard a princess visit this town a long ago. Just think, a princess here. I bet she's beautiful and kind and gentle. We're talking about Jillian. Um, well, you know. We short on ingredients because of the blizzards. Queen cabbage, retter bradish, fiora pumpkin, and a springy broad bean. That's what I need. You don't have anything you could give me, do you? I actually do. Oh, thank you. This should tide us over for a while. Are you in a hurry? If I wait for a minute, I'll cook something up. It's ready. Kaya's blessing stew. Made some fall of you, too. Run the recipe down here, so try it out sometime. What happened with the pilgrimage if you can't get to the last lands? The monsters keep on increasing the others. Reviving in the town is going to be the least of our worries. Huge biss. I can't help you with anything like that, I'm afraid. Perhaps Ayagi may know something that can be of assistance to you. I mean, probably. I'm starving. My arms has as much left, though. Gaia, bold ground peach, blue sugar cane, some blue peppermint. Oh, yeah, there was a very good big mountain to make another one. You can tell them, do you? If you do, give them to me, please. Sure. All right, thanks. Wait, I'll be right back. It's the last slice. Pono's gonna make another one, so I'll give it to you. It's going apple pie. Stuff like mom's sky apple pie. She says it's hard to find the ingredients though, so she only usually makes it when I'm sick. Oh yeah, can I write another recipe for you too? Here you go. That was a strange voice. <laughs> don't even know why I did there. <clears throat> kind of straining though, a little bit. Hey, the lady who lives on the hill was really, really worried about you. Good stop worrying. Oh dear, oh dear, I hope they made it there. So I'd really like to help you. Simply have no idea I can hear somewhere that's vanished. Okay, let's quickly stop in with a chef again. And give him our recipes. Then we talk to Sayagi. Ah, so you got a recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have so much money now, I can't afford to buy some of these. And then probably just forget about them, like I always do. Uh, let's see if Sayagi knows anything. Also, let me check something here real quick. We should just talk to Zagi because we're kind of been down here again anyway. Oh well. We could somehow sort these. I was just thinking about some of Kia's attacks because, you know, we haven't been using him, like, at all. I wanted to check up something there, but, um, yeah, I guess never mind. For now.
What is the matter? Something happened. I didn't go to the last dance. Sayagi, well... Hmm, I see. Never dreamt that anything like that would have happened. Need to cross the vanished land. The slightest idea he would go about doing that. I didn't know what the situation was when my sister traveled to the last lands either. Guess we should try and find someone who's crossed the vanished land before. I don't really know if any human ever has. Hey, you don't have any spells that you fly, do you? I call myself a healer because I'm adept in curative magic. And little at all of any other type of magic. Never seen or heard of magic that allows someone to fly. Alright. I thought it might be possible using a spell or Sprit Knight or something. Sprit Knight? It reminds me. Did you come across someone on the mountain? Who? A man arrived here in town just after you left. She was asking about the mountain, so I thought perhaps he had also headed there. Did you not come across him? No. I see. Perhaps he gave up and turned back. I'm very eager to find what he was looking for, though. What was he looking for? He was searching for a new type of spirit knight. There's a restless man, constantly tutting. He was back on his way again before too long. I thought this guy might be our ticket out of here. We gotta track him down right now. Strange man, constantly tutting as he spoke. Pretty sure he said he was looking for a new type of spirit knight. Well, I guess that gives it away for us, doesn't it? Damn it! Looks like I've hit a brick wall. I never got a single clue to go on. You know, the man Sayagi was talking about. What about him? She said he was restless and kept chatting. You don't think he could be... Shipwright? Oh, yeah, I remember now. He kept chatting all the time. Tut -tut -tut -tut. Yeah, he was definitely what you call restless. Akash, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. Akash! Is that who you're thinking of too, Setsna? It is Akash. Perhaps we should try talking to him. What for? He did serve under the Lord of the Citadel, so I thought he might know something that could help us. Oh, right. So we might know a way to cross the vanished land. Let's find Akash. Yeah, good idea. Thank you, Sayagi. He was looking for a new type of Spirit Knight. Maybe he's found some kind of special Spirit Knight that'll help us cross the vanished land. But he's not in this town anymore, right? No, but Sayagi can't have been the only one who saw him. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's try asking some of the other townspeople. You can at least find out which way he had it. I mean, he did build that airship, didn't he? In case y'all forgot. Because apparently everybody did. A cash? What's a cash? Huh? So for a spit what? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I got this from someone else. But apparently a figure was seen wandering around Magna Valley. What on earth would someone ever be doing in a dangerous place like that? Magna Valley. Gosh, yep, never heard of him. What's that? He went down through there to the last lands. Wow, that's a pretty amazing. No one usually ever goes there except the sacrifices. Dude is a bit dense, isn't he? You're the ones who defeated the monster of Fujing Heights, aren't you? Wow. Guess the masked people really do live to the rumors. And then some. Cash. Nope. No idea. Where was it our town? I'm sure he's a great guy, though. Cash. I got the feeling I've heard the name somewhere before. No. Uh, I'm really imagining, after all. I don't know what to believe anymore, even my own memories. I just stay here, sitting on my bell, making sure I don't get in anyone's way. Oh, that dude. The tree feed the monster on Fridging Heights. Amazing. I mean, I knew the sacrifice god and all that, but still, I'm very impressed. Wasn't it in the Fridging Caves, though? I don't think I fought anything in the Heights. Oh, he's didn't you say? Yeah, I know the one. Fighting, rest of the little man. Found there was no way across the mountain, so they had for Magna Valley instead. Where's Magna Valley? Just enough for you. The search and space were blocking off it before you see. Oh, that was easy. Did 
did see a guy wandering around Magna Valley, but it was an old nomad. Trust me, these eyes never lie. We already took a bet on it. Stop betting all the time. I didn't know what his name was. But if you mean that funny man who kept on tooting, I saw him heading north from here. Alright, I guess enough people saw him going north that we can go north now. I know there's a cottage that you're looking for, but the lone traveler did head to the valley. Magna Valley? It's a little north of here. Alright, alright, alright. North we go then. All right, yeah. I think we saw that before, didn't we? We couldn't go there because of the distortion. Yep, right here. Right before we head into Magna Valley, shall we take a short break then? And um, do that in the next episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed this episode of I Am Cessna, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, everybody, bye-bye.